What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about adding cable tray to our project. Okay, so on our last video or series of videos, previously we have added some families like uh, ceiling mounted devices, fire alarm control panels, hold open devices, and then we also included the firefighters uh, control and indicating panel. And aside from that, we also created a 3D view for that. So we have this one, and then we have the electrical room, and then we also have the room with some families or devices there. Okay, so this time around, so I'm going to show you how to add our cable tray to our project. So let's do this. So let's explore some of the options that we can use to add a cable tray. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to turn on the crop region here and then I'm just going to adjust this I'm just going to put it somewhere here okay and then I'm going to create my uh, sample cable tray here okay I'm just going to show you different types of the cable tray so to do that I'll just go to the systems and then from the electrical so there's the cable tray so if you are going to click that okay so you will be having here different types of cable tray so you have two category cable tray with fittings and then the other one is cable tray without fittings so in starting your electrical project so it is very important to use the correct template for that okay because if you are go uh, if you're going to create your new project so let's say you are going to use um, just architectural template because sometimes you are not that familiar so when you started your project you use electrical template if you use that and then if you use the cable tray here you select the cable tray you can only have this type okay and then aside from that if you go to the edit type there is no fittings that is uh, loaded inside this project because the template that you use is wrong okay so make sure you are using the correct template so that when you create your cable tray you'll be able to create bends you can uh, you'll be able to create T fittings elbow fittings okay but if you're just going to use architectural template so you will not be able to do that and it will really take a lot of time for you to set up the project so it's not a good idea to do that <laughs> okay so just use the electrical template or the systems template you can you, you can see it here new uh, project you can use uh, systems template so I just don't have here but if I'm going to select browse so I have here systems template simple uh, systems default template so systems default template it's a combination of mechanical template and electrical template so if you use this one and then if you go to the electrical view you will be having the correct fittings for your cable tray okay so if I'm gonna create that one just to show you okay because it's really important to use the correct template when you start your project so right now I'm at the one dash Mac so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select let's say power under the electrical discipline sub discipline is power so I'm going to select systems I select your cable tray and there you go so you will be having different types of cable trays here with fittings and without fittings and aside from that if I go to the type properties I can see here that all the fittings is correctly loaded inside my project okay so let's go back to our uh, model here so let me just show you different types of cable trays so I'm going to select the cable tray and then again just like your dock you also have here your chance to specify the width the height and as well as the elevation of your cable tray but I'm not going to change that so I'm just going to show you first some of the uh, different types of cable tray here the first one is uh, channel cable tray so cable tray with fittings. so that's the category that we'll be using I'm just going to show you cable tray channel so let me just create one here I'm gonna pick one okay and then I'm gonna pick another point here there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and select modify so 
there are some instances wherein your cable tray shows a single line or it's not showing like this it's because of your detail level so just in case you want to show your uh, cable tray as a single line so you can just change your detail level to coarse and you will see that it will become single line so if you want to make it double line you can just select fine okay so same in the 3d view so I select this one I go to the selection box okay so check this out so I'm gonna change my detail level so that is uh, fine this is fine let me change to visual style to realistic okay so this is uh, fine so I change that to medium okay and then I'll change that to coarse so your detail level affects your duct your pipe you can do it as well as your uh, cable tray okay you just play around with your detail level here so I just select your fine so this is how the channel cable tray with fittings looks like okay so let me just go back to the level one so I click this elbow and then I can convert that to T fittings alright just like that so I, I can also select this and then after that I can click this and then I can right click right click that node and then you can create a cable tray there you go and then you can click another point here and then if you want to go up you want to create a riser so you can just change the elevation here so let's say from 9 feet I'm gonna type here 15 feet that's it and then I'm going to click here so notice what will happen okay so there's the riser symbol so if I go to modify I click this and then I select the selection box okay how about I just select this whole thing and then I select the selection box there you go you see that's the one that I'm talking about okay so this is how the channel cable tray looks like so let's have a look at the other type of the cable tray so I select cable tray uh, let's select ladder cable tray so I click this one so probably I'll just pick here one two three there you go so it's a ladder type cable tray so again uh, your cable tray is being affected as well by your uh, detail level even if it, this is a ladder one if I change this to medium okay it affects right if I change that to course it will affect okay so I just go to find let's have a look at the 3d view so let's select this and then let's select selection box all right so that's how it looks like okay Again, you can always play around with the width, the height here, the elevation, and then these options here for your cable tray, any type of your cable tray. All right, so what else? Okay, so let's use uh, solid cable tray, solid bottom cable tray. So let's select that one. So let's click one here, one point, second point, third point. Okay, let's go to the 3D view. Mm -hmm. uh, selection box select all selection box okay doesn't have any that much difference so how about if I change the detail level to medium so that's how it's look like so there's not much difference okay it's only the name okay right okay so let's uh, use another cable tray here uh, throw cable tray so I think this one is also the same it's just the name okay but basically they are just almost the same as the other type okay yep right so let's move on to the next type of the cable tray so we also have wire mesh cable tray so I'm gonna pick one here let's say here and here okay so let's have a look at this one select this one okay so it's just the same it's just the name that's the only difference 
Okay, because there are some instances wherein you need to create a new type of cable tray, but they're just the same when it comes to visualization or the way you uh, the way you look at it. But you also need to create different types of it so that you can quantify that on your schedule. So that's the reason why we are creating different types of family. Okay, and then we also have here single rail cable tray under the cable tray without fittings. So I select this one edit type okay so these are the different types of the fittings you can also change here the radius of your uh, cable tray so I select OK so let's create here one two click so as you can see there is no symbol here of the fittings compare here right because this type is under the cable tray without fittings the other one is cable tray with fittings okay so let's have a look at this one in the 3d view select selection box and there you go okay okay all right so let's move on uh, cable tray so let's select the other one the last one wire mesh cable tray so I'll just click another point here move down so again there's no uh, showing line here for the fittings but uh, it's still the same okay the way you look at it it's uh, uh, the same with the normal cable tray it's just the type okay now let's try to create some cable tray here on our model so let's say from our electrical room so I'm going to move from here okay to the corridor and then move here and then there's a chase here okay so let's try that one out so I select the cable tray so for this one I'll use the channel cable tray and then for the elevation 15 feet it's it's too high so I'll just type 9 feet so for example I'll just start here okay there you go and then let me just uh, create another one here I'm gonna pick here move all the way okay somewhere here this door here here and then I'm gonna pick here and then let's say for example I'm going to move up so I'm going to type here let's say uh, 15 feet there you go and then I'm going to click another point here there, there's my symbol and then I can pick another one here and then here okay right so I'm going to select modify and one good thing about your cable tray is that you can still adjust that you can just select the cable tray and then you can use the arrow symbol on your keyboard to move it up and down you can also create your cable tray on the 3d view if you want or in the section view you can just cut a section and then from there you can see how your cable tray looks like all right so let's see this section go to view and there you go okay so here it's showing a line so I'm just going to change that to fine and there you go okay right so basically that's how you add your cable tray it's not that difficult it's like you're just creating a pipe or creating a duct okay so what important here is knowing to play your uh, detail level and then aside from that the important another important thing here is specifying the correct template before you start your uh, electrical project and then making sure that the correct fittings for your cable tray is selected okay so you just select cable tray edit type and then you can still play around you can create another type of cable tray and then specify the name and then you can just select here the different types of fittings okay you just need to load it inside the project okay so that's it for this uh, simple exercise for your cable tray uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.